so this is getting on your board safely um, from a, a water entry. So if we were on a dock, we would set the board down in the water, sit down on the dock, put our feet on the board to control it, and put the leash on there, and that way we don't have to worry about it. The key is to get the center of gravity low, and then slide onto the board, and we would be putting, aiming knees between the handle, uh, and then pushing off the dock and paddling away. Here, uh, it's fairly calm here, but general rule of thumb is we always want, it in a water entry where we're coming off the beach, we want the board facing away. Let's get a little closer here. Sometimes the temptation is to put the board down in front of us. Uh, we don't want to do that. If there are waves or more of a wind, the board can be picked up, slammed into us, um, and that's a huge risk, and on a hard board like this, could actually really hurt us. Um, so I'll show you here how we would launch first, but first all, I, would, I would put on my leash. So it's one less thing to do, and I would do this on shore. Leash would go on your dominant foot. I generally do loose enough that it can move, but not so loose that your foot will pull through it if it gets a good tug on it. So I get my leash on, and then I would walk out a little deeper. Try not to step on anything in the water here. All sorts of crabs and starfish. The next thing we have to do is get the board in deep enough water so that the fin doesn't touch the bottom. The temptation is to step in to worry about our ankles and set it down, and then the fin is in the ground, and we just, if we sit on the board, we're not going to be able to go anywhere. So here the board is free and clear. It's pointing out into the water. At this point, I would just hop on and start paddling. The sooner we get the paddle in the water, the sooner we're stable. If there, there's a fair, there's a bit of wind here, so if I stop paddling, you'll see I'm going to start moving right away. If there were waves, we would want to start paddling fairly aggressively to get out further from shore in a little bit deeper water, and then we would be able to slow down. To get up and over the surf, we have to paddle fairly hard. Now when it comes to standing up, this is about how deep the water is. To me, that's not nearly deep enough. I don't want to stand up, or we shouldn't stand up in water where if we fall off the board, especially if there's chop, we could hit the bottom. Uh, hitting the bottom of the water is likely going to hurt us more than um, hitting the board if we were to fall uh, sideways or just fall kind of weird and hit the board. So we always get deep enough. I'm just going to go forward a bit. We always get deep enough so that we have maybe two or at least two or three feet underneath us. And then stand and paddle away. Alright, see y'all soon.